Hey everyone, happy Wednesday. How are you? Um, welcome to our weekly live. Thank you guys so much for Hi. joining us. <laughs> uh, sorry, we're running a little bit late. I just literally got back and sat down and put on my t-shirt because I was doing Good Morning America 3 this morning to talk about this book. <laughs> so that segment actually comes on if it hasn't already aired in another few minutes. So if you are if you are by a TV, put it on and come back and watch this replay afterwards. It's on Good Morning America, um, ABC, and I'm talking about choosing to prosper. And it's happening, I think, now. So um, I just literally sat down from running in from recording that. But yeah, today we're going to be talking about... Um, <laughs> recession proof jobs and side hustles but for those of you who are not familiar my name is Bola Shokumbi I'm the founder and CEO of Cleverwell Finance we're an online uh, media platform financial education media platform and we're focused on empowering women and our allies to achieve financial wellness on their own terms and Yasmer is my lovely co-host she'll introduce herself hey Yasmer are you there Okay, so I think Yasmer is having some signal issues. So I guess I'll go ahead and get into the topic while her um, while her signal improves. Yasmer, are you there? Okay, so let's let's go on with the topic, and she'll join back in. So we're going to talk about um, recession-proof jobs and. Um, side hustles, because as you all know, things have gotten really expensive. Um, you know, you guys can tell at the gas pumps in the grocery store. Um, and there's a lot of concern about job security and just being able to weather through this time period. When it comes to recessions, it's really hard to predict um, how long a recession will last. It's really hard to predict what the economy is going to look like, what job security is going to look like. So we thought that it would be a good idea to have a conversation with you guys to just talk about some, um, you know, recession-proof jobs and side hustles. And also just having a plan if you are feeling concerned about your job security. Um, you know, it, unemployment is something that no one wants to happen to them. But unfortunately, it does happen. And you don't want to assume that your job is 100% secure. You're never going to get laid off because sometimes even as secure as your job might be, layoffs do happen. So, and that can be really out of your control. So we're going to, I'm going to go over some of these job topics and you guys let me know what, if you guys are working in any of them and um, if you have ideas around starting a business or getting a job in them. So um, jobs that are great for any skill level. Hi. <laughs> Hi, Katina. Thank you. Welcome. Hi. Okay. So Jobs that are good for any skill level or you can learn without having to, um, you know, go back to school are, uh, for example, the medical and healthcare uh, provider field and not necessarily working as a doctor or a nurse because these are like highly skilled jobs, but working as a technician, for example, or administrative professional in the medical space. And the reason why this is um, um a recession proof is because medical need, medical care is always required. It's always necessary, right? Regardless of what's happening in the in the economy, people are always going to need medical care. People always get sick and it's not just physical care, it's also mental care. So looking at jobs or even side hustles in that medical field around, you know, technician, administrative professional, if you want to go back to school, nursing, uh, the nursing aides, and even in medicine, those tend to be recession proof jobs and areas that you can create recession proof businesses. Um, business ideas in that category include things like starting a nursing agency, um, starting a medical um, transportation business, right? Uh, starting um, a um, assist, assistance um, companionship business where there's lots of, uh, of, of, of nursing homes or um, boomers who will pay for someone to come and sit and just keep them company. So those that category of medical slash healthcare professionals slash technician slash medical admin tends to be um, recession, recession proof. So that's number one. Uh, the second category of jobs, and if any of you are in this field, I'd love to know. So Andrea, you said you work in the medical field. Yeah, um, that is a great place. To, that's a great place to be. Um, 
Hi, Velma. <laughs> Hi, and Evelyn. Okay, so uh, Yasmer is having some issues. So Esther may join us, but otherwise we will keep going. Um, so the second category that is recession proof are teachers teaching um, college professors, you know, in terms of careers. Um, and this is because the need for education, the need for acquired skills, it doesn't matter what's happening in the economy. It doesn't matter if there's a recession or not. People want to, people need education. Children need to be educated, um, you know, and teachers retire out of the system. College professors retire out of the system. And so, the need for teachers will continue, right? And it is also a unionized profession uh, for teachers. And that means there's a lot of guarantees when it comes to job security. So in terms of recession-proof jobs, in addition to the medical fields, teachers and college professors, that's another good area. And then uh, the third category of, of jobs is um, the senior care providers. So I talked about it a little bit, but basically jobs at assisted living facilities, um, in-home care aides, especially as the population grows, um, nursing assistants, et cetera, those are um, you know, more recession proof. So recession proof jobs to go over them again, you know, and I'm sure there are others, but these are the most popular ones, the medical and the healthcare provider field. Uh, Natasha mentioned the pharma industry, which I would categorize under med medical. Thanks for sharing that. And people still need medicine. Uh, the second category is teachers, teaching, college professors, and the third category is senior care providers around assisted living and demand for in-home care. So I see, um, hi, Esther. Hi, <laughs> I, Bola, how are you? I'm good, how are you? <laughs> I'm great, thank you very much. So Appy, A-P-P-I-I says they work as a teacher. Um, so yeah, those are some things to think about when you're thinking about job security. Um, you know, you know recession-proof jobs, that category falls under those. And I'm sure if you guys have any other ideas you want to share. So the reason why, you know, we're talking about these jobs and people who are just joining us is because I, I've had conversations with a lot of people who are thinking about what happens if I lose my, lose my job now or two years from now or three years from now, I want to get into a position or career that has a certain level of job security, right? So um, those are good areas to look into because even if you are not able to switch right away, even if you it takes you time to acquire the skill set, right, to either go into teaching, to go into medical or healthcare or pharm pharmaceuticals or senior senior care, in a few years you're still able to make that shift and build out your job security into the future. So Esther's on. I'm going to have her introduce herself. <laughs> Hi everybody. My name's Esther. Um, Business Operations Manager at Clever Girl Finance. I love this topic that we're talking about today, Bola. Yeah, so uh, Nafisa says she's a geriatric nursing geriatric assistant. Nursing. So you're in the medical field, and I'm sure that you know that there's always, for nursing assistants, for nurses, my mom is a nurse, there's always demand. I remember in the pandemic, my mom was getting an insane amount of work when nobody else was working. Like she was getting offered like $1,500 a day to come work in New York City. And we're like, hell no, you're not going. <laughs> it's the middle of the pandemic. You can stay here. And my mom is an infant nurse now. And so she she was so worried about her babies, but that's a really, really good profession um, um, to look into. Sorry, I was just reading some of the comments. Okay, so now that we've talked about jobs, let's talk about side hustles, things that you can start like quicker than having to go um, back to get a certification or go back to school to become, you know, to work in one of those other fields we talk about. Talking about recession-proof side hustles. And the difference between a recession-proof side hustle and a recession-proof job is that the job you, you're able to create job security for yourself, right, long term. With a side hustle, you're able to create a buffer and a fallback plan in the event that your current job, you lose it. And the reason why recession-proof side hustles are good is because not everybody wants to work in medicine or teaching or pharmaceuticals or senior health aid or any of those um, categories. And so uh, the alternative is, okay, you're unsure about your job security, but you can still create this recession-proof business for yourself that can help you act as that buffer. So the first category on there, Esther, I don't know if you wanted to talk about that, which is the child slash daycare. The first recession-proof side hustle is childcare slash daycare. 
So although it's difficult for parents to generally afford childcare when budgets are tight, um, it's something that is essential because for them to be able to work or even work on their business if they're working from home, they still need to be able to have childcare, especially where both parents are working or e even for a single family home. So childcare is one of those um, things that will always be in demand. So that's what makes it a great recession-proof side hustle. Um, if you are somebody who is already at home, you may be um, looking after your own children at home. It's something that you can, you know, get licensed and um, do the relevant training and, you know, get, get the relevant um, government signs off to be able to run your um, daycare. Um, yeah, and you know, you don't even need to have a daycare. You know, sometimes it can be as simple as babysitting, right? I've done babysitting. Yasmer has done babysitting. When my mom first moved to the States, she was taking care of other people's children before she became interested in becoming an infant nurse. And she went to school to get that degree or certification to work in the medical field as a nurse. So um, it doesn't have to be any big production. You can start, you know, babysitting. I've done it. Um, and it brings in money and there's no shame in doing what you need to do to get through a recession. You know, I talk about in Choosing to Prosper and even in um, one of my other books where I talk about um, graduating from college and not being able to find a job immediately. So I had a degree in computer science, a minor in business administration, and I went and got a job at CVS <laughs> at the photo desk. <laughs> because I wanted to bring money in and start to save. So there's no shame in that, right? During a recession, your goal is to be able to keep your lights on, pay your bills, feed your family, stay safe, have your medicines, whatever it is. You know, so when we're talking about these side hustles, don't feel like, oh, wow, that's less than me. The game here, the key here is to is to keep moving forward to, to get ahead. So there's no shame in that game. I've done babysitting and that's a great side hustle to bring some money in. So, so that's the first one. Um, and then the second one is freelancing, which I can talk about. And freelance services is, you know, something that can be very beneficial as a side hustle because you don't have to commit full time to this job. But a lot of employers, because they may have laid people off and they're worried about um, keeping people on payroll, they tend to hire contractors and freelancers because they pay them per project and there's no long term commitment. And they don't also don't have to pay for things like insurance and, you know, those kinds of things. So you will find that in a recession when companies are laying off, especially big companies, they will still hire freelance services. So if you have skills in writing, you can apply for jobs as a freelance writer. You can apply for jobs as a virtual assistant. You can apply for um, seasonal jobs in retail. There are so many uh, freelance opportunities out there if you just like look out for them. Uh, in terms of digital online work, design, freelance writing, virtual assistants, uh, platforms like Fiverr, Upwork, those are great places to find those jobs as well. And uh, Barry, Anita made a comment that she worked as a pizza delivery driver, driver and in a store because she needed the money. Better to have an income than absolutely nothing. Yes, that is 100%, 100% true. So again, there is no shame. Get your money, make your money, right? Work, work through this recession as best as, as you can. Um, Esther, did you want to go over the next point? Yeah, sure. So the next point is pet care business. So um, the national pet care industry has exceeded over 100 million in sales in 2020. Can you believe that? So pet supplies um, are definitely shown to be a recession proof um, business. Over 54 percent of pet owners say that they would rather cut back on spending money on themselves than they would on their pets. So um, it's a great business, you know, um, and there's lots of different things you can do in the pet care business, whether it's pet grooming, whether it's dog walking. There's so many different um, things that you can do in that industry. I mean, I I'm not a fan of pets, but <laughs> but my husband love, you know, pets. He loves animals. So I could definitely see him doing something like that. But there is definitely money to be made in that industry. 
Yes, and this past recession really showcased how much money people are willing to spend on their pets. A lot of people became new pet owners because being in lockdown, they wanted to have companionship, especially people who lived alone. Um, a lot of people are not are afraid. <laughs> Barry says she's afraid of pets. I'm not a I, I'm not a huge pet fan. Uh, my kids love dogs, even though one of them is allergic, but. People spend a lot of money on their pets, especially when you think about like grooming and like pet food. And I know one thing that's trending is that organic pet food that you get delivered and that, you know, people, pet toys, pet, even pet clothes. There are just so many things people, tr people treat their pets as almost their children. So imagine how much you spend on your child. People are spending on their kids. So this is really a great recession proof business because people when they're feeling down, they want to get a pet to cheer them up. And that pet comes with its own expenses. Um, Esther mentioned a really good, so the Esther in the chat mentioned a really good um, uh, a side hustle and that is cleaning houses, right? And I, I, I've talked to people who have made a lot of money cleaning houses where they started doing it part-time. They charge an hourly rate or a fixed day rate. And then they end up hiring other cleaning people to clean other houses on their behalf. And they built like this little cleaning network where they're making a lot of money. And I know that, you know, to depending on the house, depending where you live, people pay five between a hundred and five hundred dollars every week or every month to get their homes cleaned, right? So if you don't mind and you like tidying up, that's another um, really good side hustle to consider. If you guys have other side hustles, please share them in the comments. Um, also, another avenue that's really popular that I wanted to mention is anything that has to do with uh, babies. You know, um, new parents will always spend money on their babies, even when they feel like, oh, I, even when they feel a little guilty about overspending, they always spend money on their babies. And regardless of the recession, no recession, people are always going to have babies. We've all heard about the pandemic babies that have the stranger danger as soon as they're born. You know, they're not used to people, but people will spend money on children's clothes, children's accessories, children's, um, you know, toys, children's, um, like the diff anything that comes to comes with uh, taking care of a baby or a young child, that's another area that could potentially be recession proof. Especially if you can brand it nicely and you can make it attractive to moms, that's a really great angle. So we talked about um, child care, babysitting, daycare. If you want to take it the next level to start a business beyond the side hustle, we talked about freelance services. We talked about pet care. We talked about uh, cleaning services. We talked about baby items. Um, Anita also mentioned laundry services. People are beginning to outsource their laundry. Yes. Um, <laughs> that's something that I actually do. So it just makes it easier with like so much laundry to do. Like if I don't have someone to help me with laundry, then I have piles and piles and piles of laundry. And I'm like, okay, do I work? <laughs> do I do a live? <laughs> do I do laundry? Like, if I turn my camera around, you're going to see, because the person who helps with laundry is not available this week, you're going to see a pile of laundry, like just on the other side of me, like right, like literally there. <laughs> so that's another one. Uh, Esther mentioned cooking. Um, people are lazy to cook. So a lot of people like having delivery services and not some people don't like cooking. Some people are lazy about cooking and some people just want to get a different taste. They want other people to, um, you know, just different flavors. And then Sonia said transportation services. Um, Esther, I don't know if you had anything else that you wanted to add. So for me, it's been um, just hairdressing. So I used to be a hairdresser. So that's definitely a side hustle that I feel like I can tap into any time. Um, I often get asked by um, people if I do hair and every now and then I just do it like if I want extra money, but also I have a passion for it. So sometimes um, the skills that we have that we it may not be a current side hustle, but we can actually use it every now and then to be able to get extra money to put towards savings or, you know, high cost of living put towards debt. So whatever skills you have that you can tap into, definitely utilize them. I agree. Um, hairdressing, I know that you, you've talked about that. So basically look at what, so is there something that people compliment you that you're good at, regardless of what's going on? That could potentially be a, a side hustle you can pursue. Recession proof specifically, people are always going to want to do their hair, for example. They may not do it as often, but you eventually get to a point where you're like, listen, 
I need to, I need to get my hair done. I need to, I need to do my hair. Right. So that's another, another thing. Um, Dorka said people are looking for outside caterers when they have functions, e.g. E birthdays. So that's another option. Caterers, uh, depending parties are not as common during a recession, but, um, but uh, people still have them, right? Because again, people are looking for uh, for ways to take their mind off of negativity, right? Um, there's another there's another statistic I saw around cosmetics and skincare and wellness that when the economy is down, women especially tend to spend more money on self care, um, whether it's like you know homemade, like whether it's like lotions or bubble bath or lipsticks, women tend to spend more money because they want to look good, even if they don't feel great about what's going on. So if you're good at making products, you have like a, a skincare or shea butter thing that you really want to create, that's a side hustle that you can create and try to market. So just to recap, Steph, you want to go over the recap of the recession proof jobs and then the ideas for recession proof businesses. Sure. So um, ideas for recession proof jobs are medical and healthcare providers, teachers and college professors, senior care providers. And for recession proof side hustle ideas, we talked about child and daycare, freelance services, pet care business, also um, baby items. Um, and I think we mentioned we mentioned another one that I can't remember. Oh, cleaning. Uh... Yes. Anita talked about delivery services. Uh, someone talked about catering, um, baby items. Uh, and if you said she, she, she sells her little hair products sometimes. So start thinking about ways. And, you know, to be honest, your job might be secure right now, but there's nothing wrong with creating a plan to bring in extra money if you start a side hustle. Um, you know, if you have a secure job, your income is secure, you have the time to look into other avenues. What you can do is now accelerate your goals, right? Accelerate um, achieving your debt repayments or your savings goals by putting that money towards that. So we just wanted to come on here to talk about ideas for recession-proof jobs and also ideas for recession-proof side hustles. And if you're watching this as a replay, definitely leave your ideas in the comments. But, you know, this topic is important because, again, we're, we are in a recession or approaching a recession, depending on what news you consume. And within recessions come job losses and job losses can be very stressful. Um, you know, so it's important that you, you have a plan in place just in case. Right. So start building your emergency savings. Start thinking about bringing multiple streams of income in with a side hustle, selling things in your home. Start thinking about, OK, if job security is something that is you just it's really important to you you're not you're not tied to the industry you work in then start exploring job recession proof jobs start paying down debts if you have a steady income right now right um and then just figure out how to buffer and bulk up your savings so that you can accelerate accelerate achieving your goals and have a fallback plan if for whatever reason you lose your job so that's why we wanted to talk about this topic um Niblet says anything IT infrastructure related, everyone needs infrastructure support. Yes. So technology services are also a really good, thanks for bringing up a really good um, um, recession proof job and also legal services, right? Right. But to be a lawyer, you need to get that advanced degree. But even if you're working as a legal assistant in a, in a legal office, there's always court cases, always legal documents, always contracts, regardless of what's happening in the economy. So thanks for reminding me about those. So yeah, just start to explore, start to think about what can I do to create job security? What can I do to bring in more income? What can I do to weather through this recession just in case my income gets impacted. I said, I don't know if you wanted to add anything. Um, I think just to add that, you know, what could start off as a recession proof job could be, you know, the job of your dreams. It could actually be something long term. Um, the same with the recession proof side hustles. So although they can be temporary, you never know. It could be something that you end up loving and decide to do long term. Um, and also just to know, I think you mentioned this in the beginning, that there's no shame in doing what you have to do in order to weather the storm. Um, I think when it comes to our financial goals, it's just having that commitment to achieve them. And sometimes you may have to pivot for the short term, but just know that it's worth it because it's going to eventually get you to where you want to get to. Absolutely. So remember, there is no shame in this game. 
Uh, it's about putting money on the table. It's about being secure, having your family safe, being able to survive through a difficult situation. So people will sometimes look down at, oh, you're starting a side hustle. I remember when I was starting Clever Girl Finance, people told me that, oh, yeah, that's cute. <laughs> Don't listen to those people, okay? Focus on what you need to get done for yourself. Catherine, you saw me on GMA. Woohoo! <laughs> so I'm getting text messages now. Uh, I just it just aired. Uh, I recorded it a few a couple hours ago, as you can see my face. Well, the makeup is kind of like melting, but I have my face beat to do this recording, and it just went up. So yes, you we're gonna share the link to it whenever we get the clip, and you'll see it on social media as well. But yeah, so going back to the topic, start exploring how to be prepared for a recession. Really important. Um, we have content on side hustles, on business, on saving, budgeting. We have so many completely free courses on clevergirlfinance.com. They are free. We have worksheets. Uh, we have worksheets on planning your business finances, personal finances. We have articles on the website. We have tons of videos on this YouTube channel where you'll see me breaking down different concepts around saving, investing, paying off debt, starting a, a video. So, um, yeah, you know, just it's all about being prepared so that, you know, you have a plan regardless of what happens. So yes, Yasmer had internet issues. We miss you, Yasmer, but we'll be back next week. And thanks for, for bearing with me. Like as soon as this live, just as the live was starting, I was literally getting home and sitting down, took off my pink dress that you saw me on TV with and put on my Choosing the Prosper t-shirt so we could do this live. Hi, KH. Thank you so much. So we appreciate you. We'll be back next week with another live. Not as rushed, right? I won't be running in from somewhere. Maybe I will. Never know, right? Today's show, right? <laughs> but thank you guys for being here and for your support. If you haven't already picked up a copy of Choosing to Prosper, Why Is It Upside Down? Please do. Everywhere books are sold. Physical book, ebook, audiobook. Um, the audiobook is available later this month. It comes out about a month after the book comes out. So pick up a copy. Tell your best girlfriends. If you've ordered this, please go on Amazon and leave a review. Andrea is asking if I wore my Hermes belt <laughs> that I showed you guys a few lives ago. No, I didn't wear it. <laughs> but I need to wear it more. Get my cost for wear. So thank you guys so much. I will talk to you next week. Thanks, everyone. Bye. Bye.